He was at the train station, and he was just kind of lost. Carl was going to send him to the pound tomorrow, and I thought... You just thought you'd bring him home and talk me into keeping him, no, right? No, I don't want to keep him. I don't. Tomorrow morning, I'm getting up, and I'll find out exactly where he belongs. Kate is married to Parker. She acts as the, um, sort of the dramatic, somewhat conflict in the story. I have to keep him. Did the house feel so empty since Luke's been gone? And so it's nice because it creates some sort of tension, you know, sort of dramatic tension, I think. Look, even likes your music. Really? I can't believe this is a wonder dog. I absolutely have to keep this dog. No more dogs. Don't Can encourage him. Working with Joan and Richard has been absolutely amazing because they both have, have made me feel so welcome. And these are two people who are, like, I, I admire so much and, and are huge in this business. And, and so talented, I was really intimidated going into it, but immediately they were just like full of like laughs and it, it feels like I'm working with like family and friends. Oh. Oh. Lost it. To work with Joan, it's a humbling experience. It's just wonderful to see an actress that is so precise in her work. In take after take, moment after moment, she's just right on. The dog's already been taken. Yes. Also, she's really cutting loose here and improvising too, and uh, really contributing to the story with her ideas. We needed someone for this piece who, in a very simple story, would bring enormous depth and resonance. Um, and when it was needed, a real sense of, of, of gravitas, of power. Mm -hmm.